I will speak a few words about the significance of this occasion. So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was 24 years old, he accepted the renounced order of life. He gave up all his material possessions, his attachments, his home, so he could freely go everywhere and anywhere to give this gift of prema or pure love for Krishna. He traveled for approximately two years through the provinces of South and West India, and then he returned to Jagannath Puri. Soon after he returned, there was the celebration of Snan Yatra. Lord Chaitanya was so excited to see this wonderful festival. It's one day of the year when Lord Jagannath, Baladeva, and Subhadra are publicly bathed with wonderful offerings. Now this bath is not just like our bath to get clean, because we're not cleaning God, we're cleaning our own hearts by making these offerings to the Lord. It ultimately gives pleasure to our souls, because Krishna is the Supreme Soul. When we learn how to please Krishna, we understand He's the root of everything and everyone. And that's where we can find the greatest happiness, and that's where we can actually be instruments to give the greatest happiness to others. So Lord Chaitanya was so much looking forward to the Snan Yatra. It's the day when thousands of people come together to participate or observe the bathing of Jagannath Baladev Subhadra. And as Lord Chaitanya was, it explains in Chaitanya Charita Amrita, he was Ananda. He was in ecstasy seeing this ceremony seeing the Lord enjoying so many offerings, flowers and fruits and bathing and, and scented oils and people singing. But then traditionally every year after the bathing ceremony is Anabasara, which means the Lord goes to a secluded place. It's the only time of the year where he doesn't come to give his darshan, his audience to the people in general. He goes to a private quarters. Srila Prabhupada says that it is said that during the bathing ceremony, because the devotees are so enthusiastic and so eager, they just keep bathing and bathing for so many hours and the Lord accepts it so happily that he gets a fever. Now, how is it possible for the Lord to get sick? The Lord could do anything. The Lord is not subject to any of the limitations of material existence. So for the Lord, it's impossible to get sick. But at the same time, since he has inconceivable potencies and he can do anything by his own free will, it's possible for him to get sick. But when we're sick, it's something we don't want. <laughs> but the Lord accepts this role just so that he can receive a very intimate, personal, loving offerings from his devotees. And Srila Prabhupada writes in one purport that the Dayatapatis, the special people who for generation after generation are there to serve the Lord from Snan Yatra until the return Yatra, they give the Lord herbal fruit flavored infusions of medicine. During this time, Anabasara, it's the time when Draganath's, the priests, they repaint the body of Jagannath Baladeva and Subhadra. And it's usually for about two weeks. At that time, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he couldn't bear the separation of not seeing Lord Jagannath. For him to see the temple, which he would go in so many times to the, in the, every day, and not see his beloved Jagannath. In the mood of Sri Radha, his separation was just like the gopis after Krishna left Vrindavan for Mathura. He couldn't stay in Puri. He went to a place some miles away called Alalanath, or Alarnath, near the ocean side. And there, there's a deity of Lord Jagannath, a different type of deity of Jagannath that's been worshipped there for long, long time.